no fours. Did you know that it's very common in Japanese culture to avoid number four? Because it's considered to be very unlucky. It is sometimes pronounced shi, which is the word for death. That's why some buildings don't have a fourth floor. Rooms number four don't exist in some hospitals and hotels. Stores don't sell a set of cutleries for a set of four. And to an extent, that number of guests can't be four. Let us jump into Japan untold places that's only known for locals. Kurashiki Beacon Historical Quarter Kurashiki Beacon Historical Quarter in Okayama is not well known outside of Japan, but this hidden gem is absolutely worth stopping by on your visit to Western Japan. It is known as Japan's Venice, with its canals and charming shops housed in traditional white-walled warehouses. It's interesting to walk along the canal and check out the various shops, cafes, museums, galleries, and restaurants. Takachiho Gorge is one of the most incredible natural attractions on Kyushu Island, Japan. It is less known natural treasure to foreign travelers. It's long been one of the most popular geological attraction among the locals because of its beautiful scenery and spiritual value. In the forest of Miyazaki, the Gokase River runs through a gorge comprised of volcanic basalt columns, where the 17-meter-high Miniano-Taki waterfall pours down on the awestruck tourists below who are paddling the iconic rowboats through the narrow chasm. It is beautiful in the summer and the fall, which are the most popular times for tourists. In the fall, you get the beautiful tinged orange in different colors on the trees, and in the summer, you are blessed with the best weather. Noboribetsu Onsen. Are you looking for the ultimate Hokkaido water gem? Head straight to the town of Noboribetsu Onsen, a popular spa town in Japan's northernmost island, where the land bubbles with sizzling hot water. Japan's most famous hot spring resort, reputed to have some of the best therapeutic hot spring waters in Japan, Noboribetsu is a great place for onsen and relaxing. Staying one night in Noboribetsu is well worth it. This place is great whether you're planning for a natural onsen bath at Ryokan or resort, or admire the geothermal wonders at a closer view. Saihoji Temple, Kyoto More commonly known as Kokodera Moss Temple because of the beautiful moss garden there, it is one of Kyoto's UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The garden is centered around a lake shaped like the Japanese kanji symbol for heart. There are three tiny islands in the lake called Sunrise, Sunset, and Mist, and a couple of small tea pavilions in between the trees and moss. This hidden gem takes some effort to see. The only way to visit is to submit a request for a reservation in writing, snail mail, one week to two months in advance, and include a special return postcard for them to mail back to you. Nonbe Yokocho also known as Drunkard's Alley, is one of the best hidden gems of Japan, located right in the middle of Tokyo, would you believe? Nonbei Yokocho is definitely a lovely place to escape the crowds for the lucky few who know about this unique little spot. There are many little restaurants and bars here, some so small that they can only hold around five people at once. They are filled with local people, and these Yokocho alleyways in Tokyo are definitely worth a visit if not to experience the true Tokyo, then at least to have a break from the crowds and experience one of the most hidden yet authentic photo spots in Tokyo. Tsubame Onsen Tsubame Onsen is one of the most stunning hot springs on Miyoko, naturally steaming in the middle of a forest and enclosed by local landmark Mount Miyoko. It offers the ultimate Japanese open-air hot spring experience. Two secluded outdoor baths, Kawara no Yu and Ougan no Yu, they are naturally milky in color and rich in minerals. After enjoying the healing warmth of the hot springs, do not forget to revel in the beautiful views of Mount Miyoko. Nachi Waterfall Nachi Waterfall and Nachi Katsura, an UNESCO World Heritage Site, is one of the best-known waterfalls in Japan. It's Japan's tallest waterfall with an uninterrupted drop of 133 meters. At the base of the waterfall, you can visit the observation deck for 300 yen. For another 100 yen, 
you can taste the pure waterfall water, which is said to grant good fortune and long life. Also, don't miss the view of Saganto G Temple's three-storied pagoda with Nachi waterfall in the background is picture perfect. Shirakawago Shirakawago, located in Gifu, is a fairy tale village. Suitable for every season, known for traditional thatched roof houses and step back to a bygone era. Famous for their Gazo Zukuri style farmhouses. Experience grand outdoors, living culture, and timeless traditions like Mino Washi, 1300 years of paper making. Gifu traditional ukai cormorant fishermen. G Kabuki is performed by amateur local actors in the countryside. Experience this tradition art unlike anything else in Japan. Niko Town. Niko, another UNESCO World Heritage Site, is one of the most iconic, peaceful, and authentic places to visit in the North Kanto region. Niko is well known for its natural beauty, from verdant forests, rolling hills, and breathtaking waterfalls, to raging rivers and a beautiful lake. People from all over the world travel to Niko during the autumn months to see its striking foliage, arguably the best fall colors that can be seen anywhere in the world. During the winter, there is skiing and other snow-related activities, while spring offers the cherry blossoms. And don't forget to taste their famous food, Yuba. Uchijuku Uchijuku is well known for having been used as a post town for travelers during the Edo period. It is very famous during winter, with breathtaking snow festival which is held on the second weekend of February every year. For food lovers, soba noodles and locally caught charfish roasted on sticks are popular specialties. Iya Valley It is famous for its unique vine bridges called Kazurabashi that hang over the Iya River. Recognized as one of three kinds of unusual bridges in Japan, they are designed as an important folkloric property. Each is made from several tons of wisteria vines that are gathered from the surrounding mountains. In ancient times, the local people built many of these bridges for daily travel, using vines that grow wild in the mountains. Yet only a few vine bridges remain today. Looking down while crossing is enough to put butterflies in your stomach. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you have any travel experiences in Japan or if you visited any of these hidden gems. And give us an example on how unique they were. If you like our video, like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.